Yo, what is good? We're back with another video. I took no trades today and if you took a trade, you probably made a big mistake and got chopped up in this or you got lucky because this action is not efficient. It is not good price action to be trading. You want to wait for the large ranges like this day, the large range to the downside and this is just chop. So we're going to get into seek and destroy profile more in depth in this video. So if you're not on the free discord, go join it. It is linked down below. But yeah, let's get into it. So came into the day really expecting not to trade i woke up at nine once again just because i'm sleeping in i did not want to trade no news after that large range on friday uh monday tends to chop and right here you see chop uh tuesday we see seek and destroy so how can you identify seek and destroy before it even happens right go to your indicators and favorite futures exchange sessions 3.0 then it's going to come over here as boxes these are my settings so pause the video screenshot this and here's the last one this is the last setting right here and yeah screenshot that and apply it to yours but you're going to want to turn them on this is going to give you uh let me change this color though yeah i like that uh this is going to give you asia session in the red let's make it more red boom let's make it a little red so this is asia session london session in blue new york in the purple so this is how you are going to identify seek and destroy if london session this blue box is above and below asia then you can assume that we have seek and destroy why because new york has nowhere to go anymore and no sell side or buy side to take out and the bad thing is we really didn't have any imbalance here on the chart to start the day so coming into the day i saw london had taken asia both sides of it so i really just didn't even want to trade but this is exactly what you can expect what does new york do we take london high go straight down it open to London low and then chop out and we actually formed an SMT with ES at the beginning right London did not get taken right here is open on ES we were uh, we were actually holding this one hour unicorn setup right we sweep all these lows with this candle right here and this high with a fair value gap right there we kind of had a unicorn model but I really just didn't want to take that just because of the price action I was expecting so yeah i did not take that trade usually i would uh execute on the hourly but not today absolutely not so this is why we saw this large candle to the downside and then straight back into the range so whenever we take one of these sides right let's let's take a look at london when london swipes this sell side do we get displacement back in the range yes we do so what do we expect on a regular trading day we would expect the opposing range or the opposing liquidity pool to be targeted which would be this buy side level boom we take it right there okay now we have a set london high now we take that in new york am session at 8 30 do we get displacement back in the range yes we do we just dis we come back into the range then where do we think we're going probably down to london sell side so right there's the sell side we swipe that do we get displacement back in the range yes we do so whenever we are getting dis or whenever we are swiping these sell side levels right here's sell side asia do we get displacement back into the range of that session yes yes buy side yes london high yes london low yes so this is all coming back to seek and destroy right what do we expect when both these look both liquidity pools of asia were taken and london chop the rest of the day and if you take a look right here people on the one minute i guarantee let me turn these boxes off now i guarantee we're trying to long somewhere in here to target this internal high and then let runners up to here oh look doesn't work out okay well let's wait for a liquidity pool to be taken okay we take a high here we can short down here oh look we're in drawdown so this chop right here is all coming back to the seek and destroy profile right and if you're good enough you can take this turtle soup whenever we form that smt here right we form an smt with the es and we come down 
into a higher time frame PD array. This could have been a good long, right? As soon as we tap into that ES failing to come down there, we can take that long, but I wasn't even on the charts yet. <laughs> I, I, did, I had no interest in trading this. So this right here could have been a valid long setup. And if you know what a broadening formation is, it is all coming back to seek and destroy, right? If we take this low, what are we doing? Boom, broadening formation, broadening formation, right? We're just taking highs and lows without really having any efficient moves to a target, right? Even right here, we had seek and destroy on Monday. What did we do? Take, take London high and then look, we take London low here. We come back into the range on this 15 minute candle. Maybe we can see it clear on the five minute. Yeah, we take London low come back into the range, take the high, displacement lower. This fair value gap could have been a valid short to target this low. And then whenever we displace and don't come back into the range, you can expect lower. So right here, we come back up, fail to go back into the range. So this uh, seek and destroy day, which was yesterday, this is what you wanna be waiting for. Wait for one of the sides to be taken, right? Once we form this low and this high, wait for one of them to be taken and if we continue in that direction it can be valid to go lower or if we took this high and continued to move higher we can assume that we want to go higher so that is the only valid time to trade with the trend during seek and destroy is whenever we are displacing out of the range not back into it so if we take a low and come back into the range don't try to short it like if we took this low and came back into the range right here don't try to short this wait for the high to be taken here's the turtle soup displacement lower and right here could have been a valid short to target these lows actually yeah we formed a breaker here as well so this was technically a unicorn model but yeah i'm just not interested unless we have a good good setup and today there was literally nothing we didn't even form an imbalance i mean right here at open we did close above it but kind of continue to hold it this was the first imbalance at 1055 that we actually formed and we run it so that just don't trade it whenever we're doing stuff like that and now we are in the bpr actually closed above it but now it looks like we're going lower we have all we have equal lows down here es is trying to go <laughs> i mean dude don't trade this it's not pretty price action so yeah the best way to identify that we will have seek and destroy is whenever london takes out the low and the high of asia and you can assume new york is going to do the same thing to london session if we take one of the uh pools of liquidity so buy side here and we come back into the range that is how you can identify and target the opposing side so right here at this low could have bought it to target back inside of the range the internal this fair value gap could have done that and that's pretty much it man that is how i identify seek and destroy most of the time i usually don't i i don't really pay attention if we already reach the overall draw on liquidity i just won't trade like if we're on a weekly time frame and this candle right here already took out or let's say this was the draw on liquidity and on a monday on the weekly chart we already took it I will just stay cautious the rest of the week so I don't really pay attention to that usually I'm just looking at London session if it takes the high and low of Asia right accumulation where's the manipulation both of it the high and the low is so that is how I am identifying seek and destroy and how kind of you can trade it I mean really there's no way to tr trade it unless we come back into the range and you short oh my short and imbalance or you turtle soup one of the session lows or highs that's it i mean whenever we get back inside of the range you can just expect chop and that's exactly i mean that's exactly what we're doing so that's how you can identify it london takes out the higher low and we come back into the range it's as, it's really simple i mean just pay attention to london session use this indicator and yeah I'm going to be out of here. No trades for me today. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Hopefully we take a trade. Um, 
haven't taken a trade this week. So hopefully we get something good tomorrow. Hope you guys had a good trading day. I hope you stayed patient and recognized what we were doing and actually stayed on the sidelines today. But yeah, hope you have a good rest of the week and I'll see you in another video. Peace.